standing on your promises. And I come to encourage you on this morning. We are not alone. We are not alone. No matter what we're going through, we are not alone. I have a God. And I'm trusting in him. Glory to the Lamb of God. Truly, we are grateful this morning to be in the presence of God because we are looking for a word. And I'm not going to prolong your time. Amen, there, but I come to speak a word into your life on this morning. Amen. And first of all, we do honor God, the Father, who is the creator of all things. Praise God for the Son, the one that gave his life for us, died on the cross, that we can have a right to the tree of life. I praise God for the Holy Ghost, the Comforter, our Helper in times like these. The one that's going to be with us in these times. Amen. And we have a little word from you, for you, from the Lord on this morning. And I want you at this time. Amen. If you don't mind, if you don't mind, I would like for you at this time to look at a neighbor. And say, neighbor, it's time to suit up.
we're dealing with. And how many know that in this day and time, we are dealing with spiritual warfare. Amen. So we got to put on our spiritual uniform. We got to suit them up in the spirit. Put on the whole armor of God. In other words, you must wear all the weapons in God's armor tree. The whole armor. Not part of it. But we got to put on the whole armor of God. It's time. Time to suit up. It says that he may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. The devices of the devil. The schemes of the devil. So that you can successfully resist all the devil methods. So that you may be able to stand your ground against the strategies of the devil. It's time to suit up. It's time to put on the whole arm of God. That we can stand against the wild of the devil, the tricks. All the things that the devil throw at us. Don't you know the enemy have been studying us from time? And it ain't that he don't know us. He know our every moves. He know what we like. He knows how to get next to us. But when we got the whole armor of God, or when we don't suit it up in the Holy Ghost, we confuse the devil. It's time, it's time, it's time, saints of God, that we got to suit up the devil ain't playing with you. Huh? Let the words he come to steal, kill, and destroy. Huh? He come to steal. Steal your joy. Kill out your spirit and destroy your life. But it's time. It's time to suit up. Put on the whole, the whole armor of God. That you may be able to stand against the wild of the devil. Come on. I come to let you know that we can't fight the devil in flesh and blood. We can't fight him in our understanding. We can't fight him in our feeling. We can't fight him if we don't use the word of God. And in order to be able to use the word of God, we got to know the word of God. Not just to know it, but to put it in action. That you may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. All oh, his tricks. The devil got some kind of tricks. And if we don't put on the whole armor of God, we don't know about his tricks. But when we put on the armor of God, we're able to see just what the devil is doing. We're able to detect his movements. Hey? Do y'all hear me on this morning? But on the whole armor of God, that you may be able to stand against the wild of the devil so that you can successfully resist all oh, the devil method. The devil moves methodically. Methodically. He has methods that he uses against the people of God. And many times that we not suited up, he gives us Oh, and every day there's nothing, you know. He's methodic, methodically moving against the people of God. But when we don't got suited up in the Holy Ghost, we are aware to his task. We're not blind to the things that the devil is throwing at us because we done made up in our mind. I'm going to be strong. You know, it's time for me to be strong. I'm tired of being a weak Christian. She ain't bad of nothing there. Can't go do nothing. Can't take the devil. I'm tired of every time you come at me, I'm turning my back and run. Coming at you like David did. She ran toward your life. I'm coming to you in the name of the Lord. I'm tired. I'm tired. The whole arm of God. Oh, so I want to dress. David up in his armor. But David said, no, I can't use your armor. I can't use that. 
What you got? I need the honor of God. I need something that's going to protect me. Can I get a witness in the house this morning? Let me tell you. Let me tell you, people of God. We can't, we can't play with the devil. I, I, he's no play toy. <laughs> no. And, and let me tell you something. We can't go in the enemy's camp on his ground thinking we're going to win. Oh uh, but when we put on the whole armor of God, we know where to stand. We know what territory not to enter in. Uh, can I get a witness in the house on this morning? Uh, it's time to suit up. Uh, right, look at here. He said, for we wrestle not against flesh and blood. For our fight is not against any physical enemy. All right. uh, you might, come on. Many times you might think that you're my enemy. you my enemy. Many times we might think <coughs> that our husband is our enemy. Our wife is our enemy. Our children is our enemy. Uh, but we wrestle not against flesh and blood. <laughs> Being wrestling against one another, that's what the enemy want us to do. He want us to wrestle against one another. Huh? He want our fight to be with one another. Huh? That we can lose our focus and our attention. Go, oh my God, because if the enemy can get us to fight one another, huh? we done got our eyes off of him. Hallelujah! But I come to encourage you this morning. Uh, I come to encourage you. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood. For our contest is not with human foes alone. Do y'all hear? Do, do y'all hear me on this morning? How many know that it's time to suit up? It's time to put on the armor of God. You ought to get tired. The devil causing us to miss out on our blessing. The thing that God has already promised us. The thing that been made available through the cross. Do y'all believe the report? Do you believe the report? It's time to be strong. In the Lord. And in the power of his might. Thanks to God. Come to encourage you. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. It says the spiritual host of evil arrayed against us in the heavenly warfare. All right. huh? Wait a minute, them things that we can't see, but if we allow them, they affect us in the natural. All right. All right. Huh? All right. Although they unseen principalities and powers. Huh? But if we don't put on the whole armor of God, we be affected by them in our daily walk, in our relationship with Christ. The things that come to separate us, that come to put us apart. But I remind of the words here, who shall separate us from the love of God? Huh? When we put on the whole armor of God, when we suit up in the Holy Ghost, we be aware of the things that come to separate us from the love of God. A love that's so pure, a love that's so genuine. That is able to carry us through in and, and everything. Thanks to God, I come to encourage you. It's time, it's time for us to suit up. It's time to put our wall clothes on. Uh, Cause we are in a battle. We are in a battle. The devil, the devil ain't gonna stop till he make you lose your mind. He ain't gonna stop till he make you lose your mind. Until he make you give up on God. Till he make you completely step out of the will of God. 
It's time. It's time to suit up. Do y'all hear me on this morning? This is the word that he gave me. Because one thing, I begin to tell the Lord. I say, Lord, you have called me into a place. And Father God, I take pride in the place that God don't call me into. He have called me to a place. A place to care for you and to care for your souls. I begin to tell the Lord, Lord, you know all things. You know our uprising. You know our downsitting. You are acquainted with our thoughts and far off. There's nothing in us that God don't know about. God knows where each and every one of us sit right now. He knows our next move before we even make it. But God began to let me know, you know, he said, tell my people, it's time, it's time to suit up. Come on, get, get rooted in me. Get rooted, proud of and sell in me. It's time, it's time. It's time to suit up. Because if we don't thanks to God, we'll be forever struggling with the, with the same old thing. Huh? But when we suit up, put on the whole arm of God, Brother Frank, we can walk in the victory that God has given us. And we can know that we got victory regardless of the situation, regardless of what it looked like. Lord, I believe the report. I believe I got victory in you. I'm not ashamed of the gospel of Jesus Christ. Yeah? Holiness is a good life. Yeah? And I appreciate the life that God has given us. It's time to suit up. In the Lord. Be strong in the Lord. Don't back up with every test. Uh, knowing that our test has come to make us strong. And many times when we are tested, it's only the love of God that allows him, allow us to see what's in us. And it's good to know just what's going on in my life. Not so much of what's going on in somebody else. This is why David said, Lord, that I might know how frail I am. Uh, I ain't got time to spend waiting about how, how frail you are. But Lord, I want to know how frail I am. Lord, I want to know if I don't suit it up. I want to know if I got it all together. Uh, I want to know when the real test comes, am I able to stand? Be steadfast, unmovable, always abounding in the work of the Lord. For as much as I know that my name is not in vain. Come to encourage you. It's time. It's time to suit up thanks to God. We got to be transformed. Superman suit on. Come out. I'm ready. Huh? Because we can't face the enemy at all hell dress. We got to be prepared and thanks to God in this day of time. Ah. We got to stand. Because the enemy is coming. And if you don't know where you at in Christ, he will shake your faith. The very thing, the very thing that you said, that you believed in, that you so trusted in, when the enemy comes, if you ain't careful, we ain't careful, he'll shake it. Huh? Guilt and disbelief. Huh? But how many you know? When we put our armor on, able to go forth. For we rise not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high 
high places. Spiritual agents from every headquarters of evil against huge numbers of wicked spirits in the spirit world. It's a world out there that we can't see unless we put on the whole armor of God and we can see what the enemy is doing. How he trying to deceive the people of God. How many know that in this time a spirit of deceit for this has been let loose? We are in times where men would rather believe a lie than to believe the truth. But I come to tell you the word of God that you shall know the truth and the truth shall make you free. And when you want to be free, what you going to do? It's not truth. When you really want to be free, when you really want to be loose, when you really get tired of going around that same old mountain, round and around and around and around, when you really get tired, you come to a point in life and say, wait a minute. I don't be around this mountain long enough. And I always wound back in the same place. I'm tired. Do you ever get tired? Knowing that peace is ours. Knowing that love is ours. <laughs> oh, come on, thanks to God. Come on, come on, come on. It's time. Be strong in the Lord. And in the power of his might. I believe the report. This is why the word says David encouraged himself in the Lord. Many times we try to encourage ourselves in ourselves. Uh, but how do we know we got to encourage ourselves in the Lord? Yes, yes, yes. Uh, yes. And I am encouraged because I'm putting my suit on. Because we are in a battle. That devil is out of your mind. But Frank, because wherever the mind go, you go. If that devil can get control of your mind, he got control of you. If he can control your thoughts, he got control of you. Did you write the words that put on the arm of your devil? You take it out of my mind. Come on, how many know you think about something long enough and you ain't careful, you find yourself doing it. Don't care how corrupt it is, don't care how wrong it is. You think about it long enough, you find yourself following your thoughts. But oh God, oh God, oh God, Father God in the holy name of you. How many can think of things, think on these things, these things that I love, these things that I feel, these things that I just, these things that I honor, these things that I'm good for. How many can think of these things? When the devil come against your mind, Sister Virginia, just reach up. Thank you, Jesus. Well, he have already done for us. And then, wait a minute, devil, you ain't in control here. Excuse me. Because he can get control of your mind. He got control of you. But it's time. It's time to sit up. Did you hear me on this moment? Yes, yes God. They say, wherefore? Take unto you the whole armor of God. Wherefore, take. Huh? But Frank is being presented to us. Now it's up to you to take it. Huh? I can't put it on for you. No matter how. I might want to dress you up in the arm of God because I know once we put on the arm of God, we able to stand. But you got to come to a conscious decision in your life that I need the whole arm of God. I want the whole arm of God. I'm tired of being defeated. Like I say, I go around a cycle, a cycle, a cycle of defeat. Huh? Let me know. There's a cycle. 
back is something that goes around. Huh? I'm tired. Like I say, I'm letting the feet have the last word. Huh? Now wait a minute, I got a word. I'm a conqueror. More than a conqueror. I can, I can beat this. Because Christ made it possible for me to beat this. I can overcome this. I don't care regardless of what it looks like. Do y'all hear me on this morning? It's time, it's time to suit up. Thanks to God, we are in a real battle. We are in a battle for our children. We are in a battle for our family. We are in a battle for our marriages. We are in a battle for relationships. We are in a battle! But when we suit up, with a minute though, I got too much to lose. I don't, I don't put too much time in this. I don't put too much investment in this. I done spent too many years for you to come and just take it overnight. A moment of pleasure that don't last but jump for a moment. That's all it is, jump for a moment. And look what I done lost. Took me years to gain. But then in one moment, I done lost it all. Huh? But when I suit up in the power and anointing of the Holy Ghost, I'm able to stand. Do y'all hear me? Do y'all hear me on this morning? The Lord says it's time to suit up. Put on the whole, the whole armor of God. The whole armor. But yeah, we're not just part of it, the whole armor. Do you want to stand? You can. When we suit up. Then wherefore, take unto you the whole armor of God. Therefore, you must wear.
Therefore, having your learns girl about with truth and having on the breastplate of righteousness and your feet shod with the preparation of the gospel of peace and above all taking the shield the shield of faith shield of faith what is that the shield of faith Lord I believe the report the shield of faith it's time as we as the people of God that we have some faith in God knowing that God is faithful to his promise I come to encourage you on this morning our faith got to be in God not in things not in people <laughs> cause people will fail you every time they will let you down every time Sister Regina huh? but when we put our faith in God God won't disappoint us okay? he won't disappoint us so take the shield of faith that when the devil come against us to get us to doubt God because of the way it look because of the way it feel I got to put some faith down Lord you said in your word that you will help me to overcome this if I do like I like you said to do Lord knowing I'm doing what you say I can put some faith I can put my shield of faith up there and what's that shield of faith for? Huh? The quiz, the fire, the dust of the wicked. And you shoot some things at you. To get to that mind. To get to that heart. That devil want to mess up your heart. But when we shoot up, in the anointing and the power of the Holy Ghost. So that word, that word that we have heard, that word that been preached to us, that word that we don't preach to somebody else, and that same word that gave them faith and confidence. Uh, when it's my time, I got to use that same word. When I minister to somebody and they receive that word and they accepted it and they got better. So in my hour, in my time, I got to use that same word to help me because it can help them. It can help me. Do I believe the report? Do I believe what I said myself? Hallelujah! Hallelujah! Woo! Lord, it do work for them. I told them, brother. Oh yeah, oh yeah, we can come with somebody. When they go and do, we can tell them just like I do. Oh Lord, in power. Let me receive that same word. That I can pay the most earnest heat to the thing I have heard. We said in a time, I let them flip me. You know what? We know enough word. We know enough word. We, we know enough word to be some kind of people in God. Don't we? Don't we? So be careful. The devil don't even want us to believe what we say. But when we shoot up, in the power and the anointing of the Holy Ghost, we're able. Lord, I believe the report. of the wicked for with it you will be able to extinguish all the flaming dots of the evil one every burning missile the enemy hurls at you he's throwing 
doing some things at us. And wait a minute, wait a minute. And them things, they, they, they ain't no bad looking thing. They, uh uh, them, 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 them devil throwing some things at us. Some things that he know what we lack. Huh? Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. He, he ain't saying that you're nothing bad and you like him skinny. <laughs> <laughs> he ain't saying that you're nothing bad and you like him skinny. No, uh-uh. He's doing some things out there that you like. Huh? And he know. Why he gonna come to you with something that you don't like? Now, five of them five and dollars. Because he mean to get you. But what we got? Shield of faith, wait a minute, wait a minute, devil. Uh-uh, no, 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 no. I don't care how good it looks. Uh-uh. I got my heart and my set. I belong to God. And that's not one of the characteristics of the Holy Ghost. Huh? See, my mom taking the shield of faith. Wherewith you may be able to quest all the fiery thoughts of the wicked and take, I'm presenting it to you, the helmet of salvation and the sword of the Spirit, which is, which is the word of God, which is the voice of God, which is the message of God, the word of God. It's not for us to use on one another. It's for us to use on the internet. Right, uh, in our trials, when we be tempted, when we be tempted, we got to use the word. This is what Jesus says, say that it is written. Thou shalt worship the Lord thy God, and him only shall thou serve. Say that get thee behind me. Huh? Because how many know the devil no word too? He ain't gonna live nothing. Use the word that God has given us huh? to put that devil in this place. That I can maintain my character. Huh? Come on. Take it. Salvation and the sword of the spirit, which is the word of God. Praying, praying, always, with all prayer and supplication in the spirit. Praying, pray at all times. Ask God for anything in line with the Holy Ghost wishes. Praying and watching there until. With all perseverance and supplication for all sake, plead with him, reminding him of your needs, and keep praying earnestly for all Christians everywhere. Praying, praying for one another because we are all under attack. In some way, shape, form, or fashion, my attack might not be your attack, but I am under attack because of my place and my position. Don't y'all want somebody that have dedicated their life to God? Don't y'all want somebody that's seeking realness in God? Don't y'all want somebody to stand firm in the Holy Ghost? Because many times, if you ain't careful, we say, Lord, I know I'm not where I should be. But Lord, please, please keep him standing. Please keep him faithful. Please keep him dedicated. Although I know I have challenges.